Hold on. How did you get in? I can be quite persuasive. Best get out of here while the way is clear. Looks like you and my old man are one of a kind. Both weak. I'll be sure to tell him what you did for me. You should have more respect for your father. Hey! If it isn't the hero of the hour. I just heard from my son. I knew you wouldn't fail me. I appreciate the help. The Sith are the heart of the Empire, I always say. Anyway, we wanted to see you off. Uh, give you a pat on the back and uh, a little parting gift. You're too kind. Really. Safe travels, Sith. You have made a wonderful decision. Can I offer you anything? A drink? And don't mind Varnock and Sharnock. They never leave my side. Come to think of it, my lips are a bit parched. So trusting. So marvelously trusting. What I could accomplish on your behalf. My lord, please. Can Palladius really be trusted? Killing you will be such fun. <laughs> My people say someone ripped through Garbodia's camp. Can I spot talent or what? I trust you if... Ugh. If I knew his head was gonna stink this badly, I'd have given you a refrigeration unit. I brought Andronicus back. <laughs> you should stick with this one, Andronicus. You might learn a sense of humor. Look at I have a sense of humor. It's alright, huh? We wouldn't have worked out anyway. All that shouting and throwing stuff. Somebody was bound to get hurt. Yeah, right. Well, guess it's goodbye then. Good luck out there. Murder and mayhem await. <laughs> I get the feeling we're gonna make a damn good team, you and me. Lucky for you, I'm feeling generous, so I'm willing to make a deal. You have my complete, undivided attention. Here's what I propose. I give you the lightsaber, and you come work for me as my own personal Sith. That, or you pay me three million credits. Hard to believe. But you're actually dumber than you look. All right, then. You made your choice. Boys, kill the Sith. Look, I'll make you another deal, okay? I'll give you the lightsaber. You let me live. It's not like you could open the case anyway. The lightsaber. And you clear the Aeschylus girl's debts. Fine. Fine. I cancel the debts, and you can have your lightsaber. Just don't kill me. Well, now, there's two ways you can leave, Imperial. Cuffed down or feet first. All right, hold your gloating. Get it over with. Ask for mercy. I might grant it. I don't think I'd be convincing. Give us control of your cult, and we will give you the CN-12 from one of these devices, and our servants will come to your aid anywhere in the galaxy, not just on Nar Shaddaa. You will give me the CN-12, and you will serve me. We will give you the CN-12. We will serve you. Please, let us join your call. I just exploded, and nearly killed your master. Do you want me to take that chance? Um... Um, yes, my lord, right. Just don't mess anything up, and don't tell Thanaton we let you in. I can think of a few more entertaining ways to keep warm, officer. I... I well... Who turned up the thermal arrays? <laughs> duty first, Varric. Duty first. Or do you really think I have nothing better to do than chase a pair of low apprentices across the blasted galaxy? Now, as often happens when two Sith first meet, one of us isn't leaving this room alive. So I propose a toast. To the honorably defeated. I will gladly drink to your death, Lord. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Congratulations, Sith. You've broken into my home, butchered my assassins, and forced your way into my personal chambers. Can I at least offer you a drink before you start making demands? A drink would be nice. Excellent. People have so little time for hospitality these days. Now 
get out of my house! Sith, so sorry to interrupt. I hope your meeting with Lady Wrist went well. I think that should stay my little secret. Like I said, I'm very sorry to trouble you, but we have a problem on our hands, and you may be the only one who can solve it. If I had 50 credits for every time someone said that... There will be no survivors. That will work too! Here we are. It's just as I predicted. A mere tool of the Sith Empire, just like the beasts in House Thule. Sent to wrench the throne of Alderaan away from those who rightfully possess it. That's not fear I smell, is it? Destroy this assassin men! Defend your king! Defend Alderaan! Save your mockery, Pantir. If your house were stronger, we wouldn't be here now. Not very diplomatic. For a king. He's a powerful creature, and he may still serve a purpose. The tunnel opens right under this room. What are we going to do? Murder and mayhem await. Yield, and you may keep your title and your lands. I would sooner see Alderaan blasted into space debris than given over to the Empire. The Kalejas just surrendered. None can contain us, not this prison, not the Republic, and certainly not these creatures. You'd still be the Eshkar's playthings, if not for me. We are the Dread Masters. Show your respect. You cannot scare me. Impossible. My lord, this force business is, no offense, insane. Lem, stop chewing on... Do I need to get out the penalty collar? <laughs> Apologies, my lord. Oh yes, this should complete my vaccine perfectly. We'll start mass producing it immediately. Just doing my part. You hear that, Lem? Our work here is done. <laughs> Too bad there's nothing I can do about your condition. Oh well. I can always use a willing test subject. Our bombs plummeted in silence and blossomed giving birth to the magnificent Inferno. I yearn for the flame's warm embrace. Instead, I can only watch the fire reduce the rebel factories to ash. I thought I was crazy. Fire is destruction distilled to its purest form. You're a terrible host, Master Ramos. I just want to chat with your council. You murdered Master Vedak and stormed our enclave. How foolish do you think I am? Master Ramos? There is no motion. There is peace. I assure you, gentlemen, Corellian Engineering Corp has nothing to fear. The C9X droid will serve you well. Just keep your home cracker out of Imperial hands. We hear they've already breached your walls. A mild annoyance. Even if the Empire grabs our weapon, it's useless without the proper codes. Tell CEC's board I have the situation under control. You have no idea what you're talking about. Hold strong, Brown. Better to die free than live under the Empire's fist. Speak for yourself. Here, take the Homecracker's detonation coats. Just, please, don't hurt me. But I understand your little cults on Narshida has moved into electronic weaponry and is now the chief supplier of these chips. I thought they were a bunch of lunatics who worshipped me. No one ever told me they were productive members of society. Hurting sons of huts. They got away. They were killed, and possibly eaten. There's a difference. What? 
It doesn't bother you? These idiots run off with your artifact and you don't even get to knock them around? It's enough to know that they suffered. But tell me, how did you manage to pacify the apparition? First I took a magnet, and then a chance cube. Fair enough. You're the Sith who killed Darth Scotia. Amazing! Can I tell you something personal? You are the most beautiful woman I've ever known. I love you. But you must die. Ha <laughs> ha, well played, well played. You didn't flinch at all, did you? Why should I flinch? This is just a dream. Are the powers of the mind not real? You have so many transgressions. This is going to be very fun. You were all that's dark and vile and impure in the galaxy. You used Rahana and deceived me. You are less than nothing. Killed your master, did you, Snake? I know just the punishment for you. Do you plan to see that me until I kill over? Do not mock us. Our ways are more insidious than you can dream. You will never be free of us. The Sith must obey tradition. Without it, the Empire would collapse. I love you like my own child, but you are a blight on the Sith Order and must be purged. If we are to conquer our enemies, Zash's former apprentice must die. I asked for a vision, not another ghost. Please accept the Empire's sincere apologies. There must have been some misunderstanding. Is there anything wrong? The revered visionary Alarwan saw this. You have taken this creature off us. We can't allow this. The boss, reject your empire! Let's not lose our heads. I'm sure there's a rational explanation. Right, my lord? I don't see any Gormak here. You came here to help me. I don't see any Gormak here. Strange. Ah, I came here to help. Accept this gift as a sign of friendship. Safe journey. Unbelievable. How did you do that? I can be quite persuasive. I speak for all our citizens when I say Corellia will never betray the Empire's kindness. Come, Councilman, show your gratitude. Bow to Corellia's new savior. Councilor Jalta, take a knee. I don't answer to Imperial puppets. He can't say that to me. Kill him! I can take your worst Sith tricks. Just know, the Corellians will always fight for their planet. Normally, your tongue would get you killed. But Corellia's seen enough bloodshed. Remove the counselor, but don't hurt him. We don't need a martyr on our hands. I feel more at one with the Force than I've ever felt. I have peace like the Jedi speak of, and freedom like the Sith. So, thank you. <laughs>